so let's move on now how to set up our btp trial account so guys good news for all of you you all are developers like me we don't want to pay to anyone for learning purpose so sap is providing a free trial account for btp for 365 days for one year for learning purpose so we can simply go and set up that so set up bash how to set up bash it's super duper easy so first of all we need to create a trial account on sap btp so let me go to btp trial link this is the link so guys there is one difference between free tier free tier and trial free tier is where they will ask you credit card okay where they will ask you credit card but don't go with free trial go with free trial go with trial don't go with free tier okay don't go with a free tier so go with a free trial okay so this is the link i will share with you and here you can create your first free account you see get sap universal id yes get sap universal id that you can choose to get a free account for yourself let me give you the link so first you register over here your sap account and then after that you can connect here so just like any social media registration then you can just log in it will redirect you to enter your password on the account you can use gmail id also yes you can use social media ids like gmail yahoo hotmail outlook any one of that you can use to also do this connectivity and then you are able to log in to the free trial this is the link i will be sharing with you so when you go there yes so i will share this ppt in the study material tab of our training material you can go and check so we come here this is our btp trial account now one important thing if you are using it first time it will ask data center to choose to create btp account so please use us va yes east va so it will ask you a data center and that time you should choose us east va so there will be a screen which will come additional yes where you need to choose the data center so please use us east va as your data center of choice when it ask you to select a select a account select a account so that is what you need to choose this is very very important when you create so all the process is also given in one of the blog link which i will share with you now so let me just quickly share with you so here you will first register you see this is how you enter your details like your name email id yes your phone number everything then it will say check your email to finalize your sap account so first it create a sap account for you after sap account is created you will activate your sap account this is the email you receive once you activate a sap account it will ask you to set a password <clears throat> after you set a password your sap account is created so first you have to create sap account after that you have to create the 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 btp account so come down then it will ask you to connect to btp trial and then you enter your number verify your code then you go inside now you see this screen will come where it will ask you data center so choose us east data center so what is this meaning so basically if you remember we were talking about this infrastructure so here there is a infrastructure which is owned by amazon so it is asking which amazon infrastructure you want to create your storage so eventually where where you will store so that is what it is asking so there are two data center for free trial one is <coughs> singapore one is us so it is asking where do i create this amazon account so that is what it is asking so we are telling create amazon us east va that is what we tell so it will create a account on amazon so you don't have to see the amazon account or anything it is all doing behind the scene for you because platform is what you are interacting and platform is managing that storage also for you wow wow so that is what it does it creates an account and we are ready 
we are ready so this is the steps i will also put these steps in addition so just in case some of you wants to also refer the steps you can refer that okay so that is how you onboard yourself on btp once you onboard once you sign up you will get this particular screen and that's it congratulations we have got bas tool click on the bas tool here and we are ready and again it might ask you the user id password so please when you said reset your password kindly make sure that you note down your password and you remember it do not forget it do not forget it so enter your user id password and click on login yes so if you forgotten the password if it's not taking the password here you can also forgot password yes you can use forgot password to reset your password please do not write a email to me or my team to put your password if login doesn't work we have no control of your passwords your passwords are your passwords we will not be able to know your passwords yes you need to reset and you need to log in with your passwords we have no control on the passwords here yes so please remember your passwords if you forgotten kindly use forgot password link to reset your passwords okay so now we come inside and this is starting the pass tool yes now the very first thing you will see over here in the pass tool is this dev space so let me delete this dev space i don't need it so because how will it look like in new screen and look like a fresh account so this is how a fresh account would look like it will start the fresh account like this without any dev space so it, this is how it look like so now we need to create a dev space so what is a dev space so i was telling you that we have actually a infrastructure a platform so we need to now create a dev space so a dev space is a private space for a developer so in this space <clears throat> developer develops applications within its own environment so the great advantage here is isolation isolation is the advantage what do you mean by isolation if some developer do some malicious activity or by mistake they do they do some bad activity which kind of cause a crash it will not crash the whole btp it will only crash the developer's private space the developer's private space so i was telling you about virtualization right virtualization vmware right so when you create a dev space it actually creates a virtual machine on the internet yes this virtual machine will be a linux debian linux virtual machine so let's create a dev space and let's give any name anubhav fiori and we can choose what tools do we want to install so you remember in the vs code i installed couple of tools here yes we don't need to do all that the moment you choose sap fiori it will automatically install all the tools for you yes automatically it will also install the node js as well for you on this internet computer so it's like you are running a computer on the internet and you're connected to that computer so let's create a dev space so what it is doing now it is spinning a virtual machine it is creating a vmware setup on the internet yes it's a linux debian machine it is creating on the internet in that machine it is installing node js and it is also installing the development tools fury extension pack for us wow so you can notice in the trial account we can only spin maximum two dev spaces in the trial account and if you do not run for 30 days they will delete this they will delete this so total memory it allocates is 4 gigabyte for one developer so this way they will also isolate the total memory across developers and they will allocate only few memory in in the trial account maximum two dev spaces can be can be executed so you can see list out all the restrictions here so maximum two are allowed only one can be running at a time yes it will also time out after an hour activity in activity maximum size is 4 gb if you not use for 30 days they will delete so this is trial account for learning purpose yeah so now you see dev space is created and it's running let's go inside and what you see is miracle it will be absolutely same screen like vs code yes 
whatever screen you saw here vs code absolutely you see left side same screen you will see as vs code <clears throat> let's come and we will just go and check here the folder structure so this is basically how it look like so just like i was telling you you are connected to a computer on the internet you are connected to a computer on the internet on the internet there is a computer you are connected so we will now connect to the folder so we say open folder so just like in your your local machine you created a folder called ui5 batch that was your workspace that was a folder which is a home of all the projects similarly sap provide a folder called projects folder here which is home which is home of all the projects you develop so please always the moment you open batch tool always say open folder and switch to projects directory this is important very important because all the projects you want to club together you want to live together you want to stay together all your projects you want to keep them inside one directory one folder which is projects folder so right now there are no projects let me import a project now so whatever project we develop here i'm going to import that so let me copy the path go to my computer this is the project we developed today yeah it's not a not a very good project like uh, people uh, prof for professional people like you but uh, yeah it's a college project even worse than college project it's a school project but that's okay we can try now so i'm going to drag it and drop it in the bash congratulations that's it whatever you develop in local machine in vs code is now available in the bash wow woohoo so that's it guys and now we can execute it yes woohoo that's it guys we can execute it now and let me install the plugin click okay and i'm going to install live server plugin i don't know if live server plugin works in the bash or not but let's give it a try that's a live server and i install the live server plugin so by the way fury extension pack is already pre installed you don't have to do that and now come here so live server is done let's right click and i will say open with five server i click on that and it is going to start yes there you go it's launching woohoo congratulations you can see we have got the we've got our html file executing with the help of this live server in the bash tool exact same output what you saw in local machine is running on the bash as well awesome guys awesome so this is how you can actually use this live server live fi server in the as a extension in the bash tool to execute your html files directly